Hello and welcome to video seven, Building Core Strength, your bonus video. I am delighted that you are here. You probably noticed that when the core is weak, the low back can get quite sore and tight. So we're going to come into child's pose to release tension in the low back and then move through a number of yoga poses to build that internal heat, that build that fire in the body for transformation and core strength. If at any time you need to pause or an asana isn't appropriate for you today, then feel free to eliminate that particular pose and to move to the next one. I do though encourage you to feel challenged, to let yourself stay in a pose, maybe a little longer than feels comfortable. We're gonna hold each of them for six breaths. But of course, again, if that feels too long and it's not appropriate, then just pull it back. It could be two, four breaths and you'll still, of course, reap the benefits. So let's begin. We're gonna start in child's pose, bringing the knees wide, big toes to touch and extending the arms forward in front. Allow your forehead to come down towards your mat, release tension in the low back and let your shoulders relax. Breathing here. Once you come to your sixth breath, come onto your knees and then onto your forearms for your dolphin plank. Bring your legs back and first just rock forward and back six times. Good, now hold here for six breaths. Keep your gaze forward, continue to press your forearms down onto your mat, draw your navel in towards your spine. Two more breaths. And now come over onto your right forearm, have your forearm parallel to the short edge of your mat and extend your left arm up for six breaths. Good. Now bring your hip down and draw your knees in towards you, coming into your Navasana for six breaths. Excellent. Now cross your ankles, come forward onto your hands and come into your plank, rocking forward and back six times. And holding here for six breaths. Puff up into that space between your shoulder blades. Draw again the navel in towards the spine. Three more breaths. And now take your right hand to the center. Come over onto the edge of your right foot. Push into the heel of your right hand. And coming into your side plank for six breaths. Good. Now again, bring your hip down, draw your knees, and coming back to the vasana for six breaths. Excellent. Cross again your ankles, come forward onto your hands and knees, and now we're going to come into the left side. So coming again onto your forearms, guide your legs back, rock forward and back six times. Good, holding here for six breaths. Now it's gonna be your left forearm, coming over onto your left side, reach your right arm up. Good, now bring your hip down, 
Again, the eye journeys in towards and coming into Navasana, six breaths. Excellent. Cross again your ankles. Come again forward. Back to now plank. Rocking back and forth six times. And now holding here for six breaths. Take now your left hand. Come over onto the edge of your left foot. Stack your feet, lift your hip up, and reach your right arm up for six breaths. Good. Bring now your hip down. Bring again your knees in towards. Lift your legs. Bring your shoulder blades towards each other on your back. Breathe here in Navasana for six breaths. Good. This time, once you bring your feet down, we're going to come into reverse tabletop. So have your fingers pointing towards your heels. Push into your feet and lift your hips. And now come down. Come over onto your right side. Onto, again, your hands and knees. And now coming into your downward facing dog. Draw your right leg up, reach, 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 and then hug your knee in towards your chest. Breathing here, six breaths. Good, bring your leg back up, bring your foot down, and same the other side. Come down onto your knees now, cross your ankles and bring your hands beside you. We're gonna now come into leg extensions. So extend your fingers forward, bring your calves so that they're parallel to your mat. And we're going to do six for each leg. Good, now bring your legs down, scoot yourself up your mat, and we're going to come into bridge pose. So as you come down onto your back, bring your knees and your ankles in one line and start to lift your hips. Now as you're lifting your hips, you can bring your fingertips to touch your heels, keep pushing your feet into your mat and breathing here for six breaths. Excellent. Now lift your heels, slowly come down. Bring your knees in towards your chest. And now come back up, but onto your forearms. Again, we're going to extend the legs six times for each leg. Excellent. Now bring your feet down, guide your hands behind you, have your feet hip width distance in parallel for reverse tabletop. Good. Now slowly come down, cross your legs, bring your hands together at your heart, take a nice deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth, bring your arms forward, let your forehead come down. And that completes our sequence for core strengthening. So I hope you enjoyed, practice this. It's a short sequence, but it's an effective one. 
I wish you all the best and I look forward to seeing you in another video, a workshop, or a program or class at another time. Namaste.